we kick things off this evening with a David vs. Goliath rematch from last month in Sacramento on SmackDown as the human highlight reel Ricochet makes his way down the aisle. It's going to be a great night of action here in Baltimore. Thank you for joining us. Let's kick things off with the one and only. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet has been a busy man as of late on Friday Night SmackDown and also through his participation in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. This coming Saturday, I should say next Saturday afternoon, Ricochet is set for a quarterfinal match in the CWC against Monday Night Raw's big strong boy, Tyler Bate. Ricochet has had his hands full on Fridays as of late with Cody Rhodes and Braun Breaker and of course this ever looming issue with the Nigerian giant Omos. Ricochet defeated Omos last month on SmackDown in Sacramento, a loss that the big man has not forgotten and he's looking for his payback here tonight in Baltimore. And as we say all the time, it's one thing to knock Omos down, it's a whole other thing to keep him there. But tonight, it's one thing to defeat Omos before, but can Ricochet do it again? Will Lightning strike twice in the same place? That is the question we need an answer to. And his opponent, from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giants. There is something about the atmosphere that just changes when the Nigerian giant Omos enters the room. It's as if business certainly picks up. One of the most intimidating figures to ever step foot inside the squared circle. This is a man who made an open challenge earlier this year and ended up fighting the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And Omos moved to SmackDown shortly after that and has been trying to find his footing. We have seen, seen him go one-on-one -on -one with some of the best of them in John Cena and so forth. But Omos is looking towards Ricochet tonight to build some momentum for the Nigerian giant on the blue brand. As we mentioned, that loss that Omos took to Ricochet. Ricochet may have caught Omos by surprise last month on SmackDown. I'm sure the Nigerian giant has come in with a new game plan tonight and is looking to execute it to perfection here in Baltimore. We thank you for joining us for this live premiere first half of your doubleheader weekend. Monday Night Raw's Unforgiven tomorrow night in Chicago, which we'll talk about later this evening. But here we go, kicking things off at no mercy with Omos versus Ricochet. And Ricochet is feeling the brunt of the Nigerian Giant. And Ricochet had to expect this with Omos fired up, the man who really wanted this matchup with Ricochet. Remember that ambush a number of weeks ago after Ricochet had unfortunately fell to a Hungry Braun Breaker, who we're going to see in action later tonight, going one on one with Cody Rose for the United States Championship. Ricochet fighting an uphill battle tonight, and Omas is going to make him feel the worst of it on the road to what Omas hopes is going to be a victory. Ricochet's got to stick and move. Ricochet has got the win before against the big man. He knows he can do it. And as we mentioned, it's one thing to climb the mountain, it's a whole other thing to do it again. Omos is like Mount Everest in there, and Ricochet is climbing a dangerous pursuit to the top. And into the cover goes Omos, looking for the early victory here in Baltimore, but Ricochet gets the shoulder up. Ricochet's got to stick and move, and I should say Ricochet's got to keep in the back of his head. Doesn't want to risk injury heading into his quarterfinal matchup in the CWC against Tyler Bate next weekend, but there is nothing Ricochet can do tonight. Well, he's in there with a big man like Omos, and there's Ricochet able to somehow use his weight to get Omos off his feet. And here's the one and only. Can't hold back. Gotta go for the home run. There's the moonsault. And going for the early victory, but Omos gets the shoulder up. But that is what Ricochet's got to do. Use his high risk, high reward. His high flying abilities to his advantage. Well, Moss can't underestimate Ricochet. Can't take his eye off the ball until he hears a three. That may be the detriment to the Nigerian Giant tonight. Ricochet, you see, struggling to build momentum in this match. Saw a sign of life there off the takedown into the moonsault. But it's only just a matter of moments before Omos is back to his feet. And now he's got Ricochet in this bear hug, dead center of CFG Bank Arena. And imagine the momentum 
will be shot right down the drain of Ricochet heading into his matchup with Tyler Bate next Saturday afternoon if Omos can get the victory tonight. As we are mentioning, oh wait a minute, Ricochet tilt to whirl, head scissors, down goes the big man. You can only keep Omos down for so long. You see the size differential between these two. And Ricochet is struggling to get things going here in Baltimore. Oh, Moss could be going for that choke slam. He used against Luke Gallows a few weeks ago on SmackDown to pick up a victory. Ricochet able to avoid it, and a shooting star press into the cover. And again, and only a one count. Only got the one there, but this is what Ricochet's got to do. He's got to stay moving. Can't let Omos catch him. As there he goes there, springboard moonsault. Can't let Omos slow him down tonight. Catch him and squash him. Keep him grounded. Ricochet can't afford that. Ricochet's got to go to the air. But that doesn't mean it's always going to work out as he just found out right there. Man, Ricochet was starting to build some momentum. The shooting star, the springboard. And Omos is just... You know, Omos is a man who... He's got a lot of agility in there for a big man, able to get out of the way on that moonsault. And it does not pay Ricochet dividends. Getting hung up on the top of the apron, hardest part of the ring as we know. This is not where Ricochet wants to be on the outside of the squared circle with Omos. I mean, it's already dangerous being in between the ropes with Omos, but being at ringside, not gonna help Ricochet's cause. Of course, it was at ringside a few weeks back on SmackDown where Amos ambushed Ricochet as if this big man needs to be ambushing anybody from behind. But he ambushed Ricochet, was ragdolling him all across ringside in front of the announce table. Laid down the gauntlet for this rematch tonight at no mercy. And Alessio so Amos once again taking his eye off the ball. And I'm telling you, that may be the detriment to Amos tonight. If he underestimates Ricochet, a man who has beaten him in the past, Amos may be sensing another defeat tonight. Nice takedown by Ricochet. Now the human highlight reel trying to keep things going as he heads to the top. Phoenix Splash! The same move that won him a first round bout in the CWC. But Omas's tall legs reward him that time in the rope break. Omas didn't even have to move. The foot just happened to be under the ropes and it saved him there. And now an STO, which is going to hurt harder than most when somebody the size of Omas is coming squashing down on you. This is one hell of a way to kick things off tonight. Your SmackDown exclusive live premiere event. No mercy here at the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore. It's been a hot and heavy buildup over the last few weeks. The SmackDown locker room has been at turmoil. A lot of those issues going to come to a head tonight. Here live at No Mercy. Now Omos, double backbreaker on Ricochet. Now going for the cover. Omos desperate for victory tonight. Hungry to see Ricochet fall on defeat, but the one and only still has got a little fuel left in the tank. Just because he's got fuel in the tank, just because the adrenaline may be pumping, doesn't mean it's a smart idea for Ricochet to keep moving, and it doesn't mean he's not just delaying the inevitable. Oh man, Omos going for a choke slam, dead center of the squared circle. And there's no getting up from that unless Omos forces Ricochet to his feet. Oh, wow, big time counter by the one and only. Where is he getting this sign of life? And now somehow Ricochet's heading to the top. Mood salt from the heavens. Go for the cover. Live for the moment, but it's only a one. How did Ricochet get the life? to fight out from after, I should say, that choke slam, get Omos off his feet. Now he's got him dazed, might not have got the victory, but certainly is back in the momentum column. Omos is on the outside, and the big man's on spaghetti legs. Ricochet looking to knock him over like dominoes right now, taking things to the sky. My goodness. What a matchup to kick things off tonight at no mercy. Ricochet now coming off the apron, dropping the elbow. These two men up in the ante from their matchup last month in Sacramento on SmackDown. And now Ricochet going for the Acai Moonsault. Must have been watching his 1996 Cruiserweight action as of late from WCW because Ricochet's taking a page out of the good old Cruiserweight book. 
Omos is down, and Ricochet may be able to keep him there. Taking things to the air time and time again. It's gonna take a lot out of the one and only, but it's his only way to get a victory tonight. Oh, but Omos had him scouted that time. Got the knees up. Ricochet hit a beautiful Pele kick, but went to the well too many times with that shooting star, and Omos gonna make him pay for it. Oh my goodness. Talk about making him pay. Moss sees this matchup tonight, tonight excuse me, as a way to get himself in line as future championship opportunities may arise on SmackDown. Omos wants to see his name in the lights, his name in the win column here in Baltimore. Realizes the popularity that Ricochet has certainly been acquiring on SmackDown, especially in the last few months. And Omos wants to reap the rewards of it tonight. Well, that's another close call, but Ricochet still survives. I don't know what it's going to take as Ricochet rolls to the outside, just trying to create some distance between himself and the Nigerian Giant in the midst of this David vs. Goliath collision here tonight. A big time close on the outside. Ricochet is down. Ricochet is certainly hurt. And I don't know how much more adrenaline could fuel him in this matchup. Amos is like a shark who smells blood in the water. Oh, wait a minute. Don't count out Ricochet. Spring to his feet, but Omos, look at that double-handed slam. And you can count all the way to Chicago tomorrow night, but Ricochet says otherwise. Getting the shoulder off the canvas. Omos can't believe it. What a freaking match here tonight at the SmackDown exclusive live premier event, No Mercy. I don't think Omos was expecting this kind of fight out of Ricochet. I don't think Omos expected the match to go the distance in the way it has. Ricochet's hurt though, and Omos is willing to keep the foot on the gas pedal if it means victory. Trying to ragdoll him there just like he did a few weeks ago. Wow, my goodness! A poison Rana by Ricochet on the Nigerian giant Omos! And the tilt to whirl. Omos goes down. Omos rolls to the outside. The human highlight reel going for the corkscrew. But Omos moves out of the way. Every time Ricochet wows us with a high risk maneuver and starts to build momentum. The Nigerian giant pulls the rug out from under his feet. Man, win, lose, or draw for either one of these superstars. The fans that have sold out the CFG Bank Arena tonight in Baltimore are certainly getting a treat in your opening bout. There's so much still to be decided tonight. Multiple championships and personal scores to be settled. As Ricochet trying to send Omos possibly into the ring post there, trying to create some distance, and Omos hit the barricade. It speaks volumes to the heart and the will of Ricochet to be able to take Omos down like that, especially this late in the matchup. Omos may have his eggs scrambled on the outskirts of the ring. The referee's at a count of nine right now, and Omos getting back in just at the very last second. Ricochet almost scoring the count out victory, but Omos has still got fight. And the one and only taking things to the air again. Omos is down. Ricochet is heading to the top rope. 6.30 on the Nigerian Giant. Into the cover. And no! Omos gets the shoulder up. Oh, but look at Ricochet. Not batting an eye. Heading back to the top. And another 6.30. Will the second time be a charm for the one and only? It is. Man, oh man, what a matchup to kick things off tonight in Baltimore, Maryland at no mercy. Omos wanted this rematch. And Ricochet certainly gave him a fight. Omos lit a fire under the one and only that he was unable to put out tonight in your opening bout. Here is your winner, Ricochet! Next Saturday afternoon, in the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic, Ricochet meets Monday Night Raw's big strong boy, Tyler Bate. But tonight, Ricochet will soak in the pageantry of winning this matchup here tonight in Baltimore. Omos gave him a fight, but in the end, the heart and the soul was just too much for Omos to handle, and the human highlight reel leaves with victory.
chase on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.